Hello everybody, I'm here to show how to install mods for Resident Evil 2 Remake. You're gonna need Fluffy Manager 5000 here. Um, this is basically our mod manager where you can control all your mods, what you have turned on and what off. Um, so this is downloaded from nexusmods.com. Um, you're gonna need to have an account to download the file. Once you have an account, you go to the files and just do a metal download here. Uh, you most likely, have, most likely have the free account, unless you have premium, then just slow download. It's a small file, so you should be fine. Once you've downloaded the Fluffy Manager 5000, you gotta open up the zip file, and uh, you gotta extract these files somewhere. I've just made a new folder here, it's the Fluffy Manager. I'm gonna just move these files in here. And uh, when you open up the mod manager, it should automatically, well, you gotta first of all get the list of all the games you can mod with this manager. We're gonna select the Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, it should automatically determine where you've installed Res Resident Evil 2 Remake. If not, um, there's probably gonna be somewhere here in options you can define the game install path from here or something. But uh, it should most cases just uh, find out where your game is installed by default. And then, um, once we are in Resident Evil 2 Remake, we go to the download section. Uh, first of all, there's two websites here, which have uh, different mods for Resident Evil 2 Remake. But you can also download some mods directly from here. For example, here is the Mr. X army. It's as simple as clicking here. It will download it by automatically. And now we're gonna go into mod list. You can see it's here. It's not enabled here. So once we click this mod, you can see it getting enabled and it says install mod. Mr. X replaces most enemies. And after that, we can just click launch the game. Um, so, if you now go launch the game from any source, if you launch it from Steam even, it's going to have this mod installed. So when you want to uninstall this mod, you're going to make sure you open up this mod manager and then you click and turn this off in case you want to want things to go normal. Um, so just a good thing to know. Um, with that, um, good luck and... Hope you guys have fun fooling around with this amazing mod.